Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the Just a Minute Micro Vlog. I wanted to take a minute before we get into the episode to thank everybody truly for watching the videos and for subscribing to the channel. Up to this point, all the episodes in the micro vlog have been just a minute. I have finally gotten to the point where I want to try to make a bigger video. So episode 10 is not just a minute. It's actually a few minutes. Join me in the studio and watch as I make my new favorite painting, Oroy. I'd like to pause the time lapse to talk about this painting a little and hopefully give it some context. In the early 1960s, Roy Lichtenstein was drawn to comic strips that portrayed tragic love scenes. The thing that got me about his O. Jeff painting was the expression and how it reminded me of Van Gogh's Dr. Gachet from 1890. It amazes me that these two images, Lichtenstein's from 54 years ago and Van Gogh's from nearly 130 years ago, share the same look and feel of melancholy. Dr. Gachet was both well off and well regarded, but Van Gogh sensed that he was somewhat disappointed with his life. In Lichtenstein's piece, the woman possesses youth, beauty, and modern technology, but again seems deeply unsatisfied with the course her life has taken. So with a pop cartoon, Lichtenstein echoed a universal emotion that artists have been portraying for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Even with wealth and technology that's supposed to make our life easier, it's clear that melancholy is still all around us. And now, back to the time lapse. Yeah. 
The other thing that struck me from Liechtenstein came from something he said in a documentary I saw a couple of years ago. Liechtenstein particularly liked crudely drawn magazine and newspaper advertisements to use as source material. Well, the source was an ad for Mount Airy Lodge at the Poconos, and it appears in the Times, if not other places, uh, oh, I think every week or so. And uh, I don't know, it just caught my eye, and, and it was 1961, I think, and uh, I did this kind of, oh, I don't know how to describe the nature of the drawing, but it's awkward, and, and uh, it's, it's as though you had learned how to draw each thing individually, and you put it on there. That one comment unlocked the way that I see things, and lit a spark that completely changed the way I make paintings. By breaking a picture down into individual shapes of solid color, the image becomes simplified and flat, but the intensity and potency instantly makes any subject iconic. Oh Roy, I love you too. So by cutting out a simple shape and laying it on this iconic image, I was able to update and modernize one of my favorite paintings of all time. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. Let's <laughs> go.